Hey, this is Staff Levavi from LinkedInNerve.com and in this video you're going to learn how to play the awesome MacGyver theme on guitar. Now this is a really, really, really great piece to learn and play. And a student of mine watched Adrian Holovetti's arrangement a couple of weeks ago and he asked me to transcribe it. And it's a really, really good arrangement so I transcribed it. And I just made a few changes here and there according to my own taste and I filmed it and uploaded it a couple of days ago, so we're gonna watch it first and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick. It's only a minute long, so here it is. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so we begin with E sus4. And then E sus4 over C. It's E sus4 with a C bass. Then this lick. Okay, by the way, you can call this C6 major 7. C6. Major seven, but doesn't matter either way. What matters is how the chord sounds, not how it's named. So E sus four, C six major seven. Then again, and after playing it twice, you do this. You put your second finger on the G bass, and you do this. Okay, pinky on the 4th fret of the 4th string, then 2nd fret with your 1st finger, then D5 with a D sharp bass, it's D5 over D sharp, okay, so it's Then again, okay, so it's G, then pinky, then first finger, D5. That's the intro. Now begins the cool part, D7. Eight times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then G, then D, like this. Okay, it's the C shaped bar, only you, you don't need to bar, you can just put these three fingers. Okay, so then G again. So D7, G, D, G. Then again. This is E minor. Then A minor. D7. G. D. G. Okay, you're keeping up with this. If not, I'm gonna repeat it afterwards, don't worry. Then, where were we? No, I'm not keeping up with this. Okay. 
Okay, this line again. E minor. Then A minor. E minor. And then G. No, excuse me. A minor. Okay. Uh, G over B. C. B7, E minor. Okay, so let's go back a moment from the beginning, okay? D7, G, D, G. D7, G, E minor. Okay, A minor. D7, G, D, G. Seven G E minor, then A minor E minor A minor G over B C B seven E minor, then E minor D. G over B, okay, it's a pull off, so, then A minor G, A minor again, E flat, D, G, that's a really, really awesome line, one of my favorites. Maybe it's because I was a kid when that was aired, but it's awesome either way. So, E minor, D, C, G over B, A minor, G, A minor, E flat, D, G. Then you begin all over again. And then you can either play the entire chorus again, or you can play the ending. A minor, E minor, A minor again, G, G over B, C, C again with a high G. So, again, A minor, E minor, A minor, G over B, C, with a high G, and then put on an E flat major 7, and you pick this. And then G flat. So, So there are three things you can do right now. The first one is to subscribe to my channel and keep updated with all the new lessons I've got to offer you and why not? I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so. So just click subscribe and you'll be notified immediately the moment I upload a new one. And well, these lessons are for free and will always remain free, that I promise you. And Lickenriff.com will always teach you guitar for free, completely free. And the, sec the second thing is actually all I ask in return. The second thing you can do is just share these lessons. Share them with people you know, with people you don't know. What do you care? You're learning guitar. They can benefit from these lessons as well. Just let them know that Lick and Riff is out there and that this channel is out there and that these lessons are available for everybody to learn guitar. And um, the third thing, of course, is to go practice this. and. Have fun with it and learn it and make your own interpretation of it and um, just go crazy. It's a really great, great tune. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.